Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number 45. We're going to go ahead and create our vital bar class, or at least continue on with it. So let's open up Unity, Model Development, and I'm just going to go back to Unity here, and I'm going to create a new prefab. So I'll click on Prefab, Create, Prefab, and I'm just going to call this one Player Health Bar. Prefab. And now I want to go over to Game Objects, and I want to create an other, and I'm going to create a GUI texture. We're actually going to use a texture for our health bar this time around. I don't think I actually have one made, but I'm just going to use this red one. Now you can get all fancy and make, you know, nice rounded corners and, you know, whatever you want. But for demonstration purposes, I, I'm just going to use this. So let's go ahead and position it where we want. Okay, that's a little too much of a fine tuning there. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, it's in the center of the screen. I'm building mine for our web player. So I'm looking at about this resolution. So I'm going to move mine. On the X, you know, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1's too much, 0.15, there we go. And I also want to move it up. 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's where I want it on mine. Now let's go ahead and adjust the size of it a bit. So I'll adjust the width to, I don't know, 200 and the height to 30. Depending on the graphic you're going to be using, you'll want to adjust the sizes accordingly and also the resolution you're going to want to do. Later on we can write uh, more into our script to automatically adjust the size according to the screen resolution. But for now let's just set up a default. So I'm going to move that up just a bit more. Ah, there's good. Now I'm going to rename it. I guess we don't really have to rename it because we're going to be making a prefab out of it. But I want to go down and take my script that I'm working on. Which is vital bar. And drag it on. And close my scripts. Take it. Create a prefab out of it. Now I just want to delete it. And drag the new prefab up. There we go. Now I'm actually going to copy this. And instead of saying player health bar, I'm just going to say mob health bar. And I'll take that and drag that up as well. Now it's going to be in the same spot, so we are going to have to move it over. So let's try 0.8. Too far. 7. That's pretty decent. So we've got our bar positioned plus their bar positioned. Let's go back into our script. The first thing I'm going to do is create a variable to be able to identify whether or not this is the player health bar or the mobs health bar. And I'm going to set this to a private. It's just simply going to be a Boolean value. And I'm going to call it is player health bar. Then down in my start, I'm going to set that value to true. And I'll also want to create a public method for us to be able to change that if we want. So public void. 
and I'm going to call it set player health bar. I'll be passing a boolean value, which I'm just going to call b. And I'll just want to set our variable to equal that. So is player health bar equals true? Oh, sorry, it's going to be equal b, the value we're passing in. And let's also comment this while we're here. This boolean value tells, boy, I just cannot type today, tells us if this is the player health bar or the mob health bar. Then our function down here is just simply changing is not actually changing it's setting setting the health bar to the player or mob okay the next thing I'm going to want to do in my start function is I'm going to call this function here Now in our onEnable function, we're going to want to put all the code that we want for listening to uh, broadcast messages sent from other game objects. And we could just put them in start, but since we're going to be enabling and disabling this object quite often, I'm just going to put them all in onEnable. And then in onDisable, we'll have a way to stop listening for those methods. So in the case of the mobs health bar, it's going to be flipping on and off quite a bit depending whether or not we have something targeted. Now let's create our next method which is going to be responsible for adjusting the size of the health bar according to how much health that our health bar has passed. So this would be another public. It's not going to return anything so it's a void and we're just going to call it change health bar size. Man, I just can't get that capital. Now we're going to receive two values here, and I'm going to type cast them as float. Well, I guess we don't really need to. The integers we'll be passing in will probably be int if you've been following along with the tutorial. Because what we're going to be passing in is the the player's maximum health and his current health. So the, both of those are integers, so we'll just keep them as integers for now, and we'll type cast it later. So we're going to say int cur h, well, we'll just type out the whole word, current health, comma, int, and we'll say max health. And I'm going to comment this while I'm here. This method will calculate the total size of the health bar in relation to the percentage of health the target has left. And of course target meaning player or mob. Now I'm actually going to fill this function out a little bit later. After we've added our listeners. It appears that we're already over 10 minutes in this video, so I'll just cut it, cut it right here. We'll say this is part one, and I'll start on part two. I'll see you in the next video.